Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Plains, Trains, Everything and welcome to Fort William. Fort William's a funny place for me. I've been here so many times and yet I've never seen the town. I think I've walked up and down the high street and that's about it. Never seen anything, none of the attractions around the place. Now I was here about an hour ago and this platform was absolutely packed. The train on this side was heading to uh, Malaig and I think most people were going to the Glenfinnan Viaduct. On that side we had the steam train, the Jacobite, that's now left, and the place is now deserted. Anyway, what are we going to be doing here in Fort William? Well, 100% guarantee I'm not climbing Ben Nevis. I'm pretty sure that has become steeper since I last did it. I walked uh, Ben Nevis last year and I thought, no, nah, it's got nothing to do with age, it's definitely steeper than it used to be. 100% guarantee I'm going to be getting a late breakfast here. There's the Lock Harbour Cafe here at the station. I'm going to go in there, have a coffee, something to eat, and then we'll go exploring. This isn't what I wanted to see all these years. This is the only remaining part of the original Fort William, which was built in 1698 and was effectively demolished in 1975. What were they thinking? The only remaining part, apart from the sea walls, is a, a gate which can be found in one of the local cemeteries. There's no way they'd be allowed to demolish Fort William today, but in 1975, Let's just flatten it and turn it into a park. No matter where you look around Fort William, you're always surrounded by a magnificent scenery. But I'm not here for the scenery. Just behind the Morrison supermarket, there's this track. And this is the start of the Great Glen Way and it's 79 miles or 127 kilometers of walking between Fort William and Inverness. Now, to be honest, I'd never considered doing that walk. You know, you don't have to be crazy, but it helps. And then, now that I'm on the start of it, and I'm not doing the full length, don't worry, I'm thinking, I could actually do that. So if I ever do do the Great Glen Way, the idea started right here, right now. Walking the Great Glen Way would be of course easy in weather like this, typical late spring, early summer weather here on the west coast of Scotland. Glorious day today. Right, we've got about a mile to walk and then there's something interesting to look at, but it's not what I'm looking for. That's Ben Nevis in the background. I can think of worse places to live. If you're interested in wastewater outflows, you're in for a treat. This one's a good one down here, and I think it's connected to the aluminium smelter over in that direction.
there are guys actually fishing at the outflow. I don't know if I'd actually want to eat those fish or not, but they should be safe enough, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. I think the water comes from a reservoir up in the mountains, goes through a turbine, gen generates electricity for the smelter, and then it gets released into the local river. But I nearly forgot about this bit of land here. Scotland is absolutely littered with battle sites, and this was not one but two battles on this one site. It was so good they named it twice. It's the Battle of Inverlochy, 1431, and the Battle of Inverlochy, 1645. Not much to see now apart from sheep, but the scenery is fantastic. This isn't the reason why I came to Fort William, but this is Inverlochy Castle. It's said to be the best example of a 13th century castle in Scotland. No, we're not visiting the Ben Nevis Distillery. Not this time anyway. To be honest with you, I've got a confession to make. I don't really like scotch. Even though I'm Scottish and a very proud Scotsman, I don't like scotch. And I blame my parents. It was 1979. I was very, very young, mind you. And we're in our camper van and we're touring around Scotland. And I came down with a really bad cold. Really bad one. And I remember we were in Perth. And my dad made a hot toddy. Now, of course, I wasn't drinking at that age, um, but he made a hot toddy. It's made of scotch, it's made of uh, lemon juice and honey, and it's warm. And I'll tell you what, it was rank as well. I really hated it. And to this day, whenever I smell the smell of scotch, I think... Whoop. To be honest, I can drink scotch if I have to. If it's a special occasion like Burns Night or whatever, and you have to drink a wee one, then I will. But it's not my first choice of drinks. So uh, Ben Nevis Distillery, although it sounds great, a brilliant name for a distillery, it's not high on my list of things to see and do here in uh, Fort William. This is Korpach at the western end of the Caledonian Canal. I've been to different parts of the canal before, but never to this point, the western extremity. The Caledonian Canal is 60 miles or 100 kilometers long. It has 29 locks and was built in 1822. Although it's very picturesque here, the reason why I came to Fort William is actually just a couple of hundred metres along the shore. And here we have it, after 10 years of waiting, the MV Day Spring. It was launched in 1975 as a mackerel and herring trawler. In 2011, there was a storm here in the loch. Its moorings broke and the Coast Guard gently nudged it towards the beach where it's sat ever since. Whoa. This is seriously weird.
On this channel, I like to give you value for money. You may be thinking, wow, when did that change? Ha ha. Nope, not just one beach boat, but two for the price of one. This video started at Fort William Railway Station with the departure of the Jacobite steam train and I had hoped to catch the steam train returning back to Fort William to complete the video. Unfortunately I missed it by about 25 minutes. Oh well. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming on this walking tour of Fort William. It was uh, very enjoyable and I managed to cross the MV Dayspring off my bucket list. Thanks for being there with me and I'll see you next time.